Rhonda Van Zanti, who lives near the nuisance property, has owned the same home for 45 years. She said it's like living next to a garbage dump. Honestly, this is nothing but a landfill on top of 20 acres of asphalt. Shamnus Technology operates the composting site less than a mile down the road from Van Zanti's home on 160th Avenue. The facility holds air, wastewater, and compost permits with the Iowa Department of Natural Resources. Shamnus has failed to comply with the requirements of those permits. Site visits carried out by the DNR and the Environmental Protection Agency found several ongoing violations. Following a 2018 EPA inspection, the facility was ordered to operate in full compliance. No further action was taken by the EPA during that time. In the months to follow, Van Zanti said the conditions outside her home never improved. In fact, she said the conditions have worsened since then. The smells were starting to get real bad. Um, and then the smoke. On more than one occasion, Van Zanti has spoken directly with the property's owner, Gary Shamness, about getting the situation addressed, but still she has seen little to no progress. I've had a visit from two of the employees over there that came to my door and made promises and the progression has deteriorated more. I wanna see results. In the beginning, yes, I was willing to work with them to have them clean it up. Now, shut her down. Van Zanti then turned to Wapolo County Supervisor Jerry Parker, who is also calling on the facility to get into compliance or to shut down altogether. There is a need for these kind of facilities, but the need is they get a permit. And when you get a permit, you have agreed to do certain things. And if you're not doing those things that you agreed to, you need to not be fined. You need to cease the operation. Kurt Levetso, who serves as environmental program supervisor with the Iowa DNR, says the road to compliance is much longer than some may think. It's just the sheer volume of, of what they're trying to deal with out there. It's, it's not just a, something that you can snap your fingers and resolve overnight. Levetso conducts routine visits at the Eddyville site. During a fall 2018 inspection, his office noticed that the site managers had failed to maintain windrows, which are needed to monitor the temperature and the oxygen content within the compost. Without windrows, Levetso said the compost pile will overheat, which leads to spontaneous combustion, resulting in odor and smoke. The facility has been fined for such violations, with the most recent amounting to $10,000. In January, the DNR also issued an administrative order requiring Shamness to correct the windrow problem, to fix a clogged drainage system, and to screen their material for any non-biodegradable materials. The order also means the Eddyville site will be getting more visits from the DNR. You know, I know that some people have said, start doing your job, DNR. Well, they don't see really everything that we are doing and the communication that we're having with the facility, pushing them, urging them, and in some cases, actually taking enforcement action, you know, levying fines against the facility. Um, reworking their permit, making them do um, additional steps. 